Oops. That was a live well pump that I left on. So you don't want to do that. You could wear the pump out. So good thing I caught it. Catch it earlier, all right. She'll squeal a little bit, but as long as you got some lube in there, it should be fine. Now, start securing my trailer. So, this inside here. Right here. Take this here. Secure the back. It broke right off. It must have hit something for it to break off like that. Something hit it. It's a clean break. That's some bullshit right there. See my transducer? Show you when I was out there. See there? It's a clean break, so I must have hit something. Um, and then here's the wire. I ended up wrapping it around here. I'm lucky that I didn't wrap in my prop because I was out 12, 13 miles, and I would have had a serious issue. That would have got wrapped, wrapped in the prop and got in there. I would have literally probably ended up out there with the motor up in the ocean. I would have went ahead and took the prop off and fixed it because I have some tools and I have enough to take that prop off. So it's good to know these things too. Um, you could call CETO, but if you're not a member, and I'm not a member, they're gonna get you good. <laughs> and of course, rightfully so, they deserve that. They're running 15 miles, 30 miles offshore to get you and get your boat right and all that. I mean, if you have an emergency, CETO is a place to go. You know, most of the time it's a, it's a real emergency where you're taking on water. Um, Coast Guard shows right up, man. I mean, they're great out here. That's why I leave my marine channel on channel 16. When I'm out there, I turn it on in case there's a, an emergency close by. So I'm going to finish securing this up so I don't forget anything. Um, and that's it. I'm going to head back home. It's a little early. It's hot. Thunderstorms are brewing offshore, so I figured let me get out of here. Wasn't all that bad of a day. I got a bunch of big croakers in here. And, um, I mean, they're edible. But what I'll do is I'll cut them up and I'll save them for crab bait. Um, but if I wanted to, I got a beautiful meal there. I might go ahead and fillet them and do that because I've got enough for two meals. Um, another thing, too, is you want to take this off. It's very important. It shakes around too much. There's a guy loading a boat now. Looks like these people are going to get on that boat. So, I'm going to have to buy a brand new transducer. Jeez, and this model, um, I think it's the 5, the Hummingbird. I think that's probably a couple hundred bucks, but that shit happens, man. If you have a boat, then you got to expect that. I have a Lowrance at home, I could just switch it out, but this one's expensive. This one's a uh, side view and everything. In it. But I, I kind of like the GPS and Lowrance a little better. But I just don't feel like doing all the work, you know? So I put this away, I put the rope, then I go back, I'm looking for loose stuff in the boat. Anything that's loose. So this is tight and locked. Safety chain on, tight and locked. Cool is locked. Get some water on the way home. Better yet, I think I'll have a I can reach it. I have a ginger ale, sorry about that. Well that's it guys. I'm headed back. Final check, nothing's on the shelves, nothing's loose, no fishing poles, nothing's up in the air, motors up and locked. Everything's locked down. The cooler's locked. There's nothing on the deck that will fly out. No towels. Nothing like that. And that's your safety checklist. 
So, all right, come check it out now.